Good day. These are the sample questions for the fifth topic under aquaculture. Marine aquaculture. One culture of marine aquatic organisms including fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and plants either in cages within the shallow waters of the ocean or structures on land fed by seawater. A. Aquaculture B. Freshwater aquaculture C. Marine aquaculture D. Brackish water aquaculture. The answer is C. Marine aquaculture. Marine aquaculture is the farming and husbandry of marine aquatic organisms including fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and plants in marine environments. Two of the following are marine cultured organisms slash species, except A. Tilapia B. Seaweed C. Oyster D. Abalone The answer is A. Tilapia Tilapia is a popular fish for aquaculture, as it is very versatile, and is tolerant of a variety of aquaculture environments. It can be farmed in brackish water, and also in pond or cage systems. 3A saltwater pearl oyster species also called as Taipei, that can be used for pearl aquaculture in the Philippines. It produces the famous and expensive South Sea Pearl. A. Silver-lipped Pearl Oyster Pinctata Maxima B. Black-lipped Pearl Oyster Pinctata Margaritifera C. Akoya Pearl Oyster Pinctata Fucata D. Made Pearl Oyster Tyria Penguin. The answer is A. Silver-lipped Pearl Oyster Pinctata Maxima. A fine strand of South Sea Pearls is the ultimate in luxury. South Sea Pearls are farmed in the Pinctata Maxima saltwater oyster, which grows up to a foot in diameter at maturity. It is the largest pearl-producing oyster in production today. For a saltwater pearl oyster species also called as Taipei Bateau, that can be used for pearl aquaculture in the Philippines. It produces black pearl. A. Silver-lipped pearl oyster Pinctata Maxima B. Black-lipped pearl oyster Pinctata Margaritifera C. Akoya pearl oyster Pinctata Fucata D. Made pearl oyster Tyria Penguin. The answer is B. Black-lipped pearl oyster Pinctata Margaritifera. Black pearls are formed when the piece of sand gets stuck in the body of a very specific type of oyster, the black-lipped Pinctata margaritifera. 5. It is the fastest growing pearl oyster species, also called as wasuwasui, that can be used for pearl aquaculture, and it produces pink pearls. A. Silver-lipped pearl oyster Pinctata maxima b. Black-lipped Pearl Oyster Pinctata Margaritifera C. Akoya Pearl Oyster Pinctata Fucata D. Made Pearl Oyster Tyria Penguin. The answer is D. Made Pearl Oyster Tyria Penguin. Made Pearl Oyster Tyria Penguin is a species of pearl oyster, which is fast-growing and produces a pinkish pearl. Six oyster species recommended for growing in the Philippines. A. Chrysostria iridalii, talabanged cynelas or slipper-shaped B. Palmites, pulid pulid or palm-rooted C. Sacastria malabonensis, cucung cabello or oblong D. Huculata, culotte or wild oyster E. Both A and C F both B and D. The answer is E. Both A and C. There are four popular species of oyster for culture in the Philippines including Chrysostria iridalii, Talabanked cynelas, or slipper-shaped, Sacastria malabonensis, Cucung cabello or Oblong, Palmites, 
Peeled peeled or palm rooted, Hucalata, Calot or wild oyster. The first two species are recommended for growing. 7. The mollusk mariculture in the Philippines is dominated by A. Oyster crassostria species B. Mussel mitilis adulis C. Green mussel perna vortis D. Giant clam tridacna gigas E. A and C only F, B and D only. The answer is E. A and C only. The slipper oyster, Talaba, and the green mussel, Tahong, are the only mollusk species farmed in the Philippines. They are farmed for their meat, and consumption is mainly for the domestic market. Eat the two kinds of seaweeds popularly cultured because of its export value. A. Uchuma denticulatum and Capaphacus alvarezii B. Calerpa racemosa and Codium luzonensis C. Gracilaria and Macrocystis D. All of the above. The answer is A. Uchuma denticulatum and Capaphacus alvarezii. Seaweed farming used to be an alternative livelihood in the 80s. It is now emerging to be an important and major livelihood in the coastal areas, specifically in the southern Philippines. Capaphacus alvarezii and Uchuma denticulatum are the major species cultivated where two major culture methods are being used by the farmers namely, the fixed bottom monoline and floating monoline. 9A bivalve mollusk locally called as copies, commercially and economically important because of its translucent shell. They can be made into beautiful handicrafts and they can be used for making animals glue, chalk, shellac, soldering lead, and paint. The shellcraft product is exported to US, Japan, West Germany, and other European countries. They can be cultured or transplanted in suitable areas, and there are 27 copies beds in the Philippines. A. Placuna placenta b. Tridacna gigas c. Conus geographus d. Helmet shell. The answer is A. Placuna placenta. Windowpane oyster or copies shell, Placuna placenta, is a bivalve mollusk commercially and economically important because of its translucent shell. Copies shells are used as raw materials for home decoration and construction. They can be made into beautiful handicrafts like window sills, lampshades, flower vases, chandeliers, chessboards, glass covers and coasters, wind chimes, wall panels, ashtrays, among others. They can also be used for making animal glue, chalk, shellac, soldering lead, and paint. These shellcraft products are exported to the USA, Japan, West Germany, and other European countries. 10A mussel species extensively farmed in the Philippines, Thailand, and New Zealand. A. Brown mussel perna perna B. Green lipped mussel perna canaliculus C. Green mussel perna vortis D. Mussel mitilis adulis. The answer is C. Green mussel perna vortis. Green mussel perna vortis is a mussel species extensively farmed in Thailand, the Philippines, and New Zealand. It is a large mussel, 80 to 100 millimeters in length, occasionally reaching 165 millimeters. The green mussel perna vortis, locally known as Tahong, is one of the species commercially farmed in estuarine and marine areas in the Philippines due to its least cost in production and its ability to grow fast. 11. This is a species of abalone, 
with a good foreign market, and its hatchery developed by Seafdex slash AQD. Locally known as Lapas or Sobra Sobra. This species is also called cocktail abalone because of its small size, maximum shell length at 10 to 11 centimeters. It is the faster growing abalone in the world since a marketable size of 5 to 6 centimeters can be attained in one year compared with five years for some temperature species. A. Haliotis asinina b. Haliotis varius c. Halitotis diversicolor d. Haliotis discus hanai. The answer is A. Haliotis asinina. The Philippines exported 300 metric tons of H, asinina valued at 1.5 million US dollars, NSO, 2012. Haliotis asinina lin, donkey's ear abalone, sobra sobra, capanin or lapas, is the largest species of abalone found in the Philippines and has been the focus of research and development in Seafdex slash AQD. 12. It is an echinoderm cultured in cages. A. Acanthister plant B. Trypnist scrotilla C. Asterius for BCD. Diaderma antelatum. The answer is B. Trypnist scrotilla. Trypnist scrotilla is an echinoderm cultured in cages. It is locally known as Swaki, Santal Santalin, Maritangtang, and Kudin Kudin, are ball shaped animals or highly armored creatures which protect their soft parts with sharp spines and a hard shell. 13. The first mariculture park in the country was set up in August 2001 at a. Lady B. Honda Bay, Palawan C. Samboanga D. Samal Island, Davao del Norte. The answer is D. Samal Island, Davao del Norte. The first mariculture park was launched on August 10, 2001, at the island garden city of Samal in Davao del Norte with a total budget of PHP 15 million, BFAR 2014. 14 Recommended Method of Oyster Culture in the Philippines A. Steak or, Tulos, Method B, Long Line or, Sampion, C. Hanging or, Pabadin, D, Stone or, Peringit. The answer is C. Hanging, Pabadin. There are several methods of oyster culture in the Philippines including steak or tulos, hanging or pabatin, long line or sampion, and stone or peringit. However, the hanging method is recommended. The hanging method is constructed by piling a 3.04.0 m bamboo post or 7.6212.70 cm diameter wooden post at 4.0 meter distance in between rows and 1.0 minus 1.5 m between rows. 15. The first demonstration fish farm established in 1931 in the Philippines was A. Oyster farm in Hinegrin Negros Occidental B. Molino Freshwater Demonstration Fish Farm Bacor Cavita C. Dagat Dagat and Saltwater Fisheries Experimental Station Malabon Slash Navotas Rizal D. Freshwater Fish Hatchery Laguna de Bay Tane Rizal The answer is A. Oyster Farm in Hinegarin Negros Occidental the farming of oyster in the Philippines was said to have started as early as 1931, when an oyster farm was established in Hinegarin, Negros Occidental employing the broadcast method of culture, Roselle, 1992. 
16. The leading abalone producer from aquaculture in the world is Taiwan. The abalone species this country cultured is A. Haliotis asinina b. Haliotis varius c. Halitotis diversicolor d. Haliotis discus hanai. The answer is Halitotis diversicolor. Small abalone, Haliotis diversicolor, is a commercially valuable species for both fisheries and aquaculture. The production of annual farmed small abalone in Taiwan, once the highest in the world leading the abalone producer from aquaculture in the world. 17. The largest species of abalone priced as food and extensively marketed. A. Haliotis varia B. Haliotis refescens C. Halitotis diversicolor D. Haliotis discus hanai. The answer is B. Haliotis rufescens. The red abalone, Haliotis rufescens, is the largest species of abalone in the world and the most common abalone found in Northern California. Red abalone sometimes occur intertidally, but are more common subtidally. 18 biological factors such as pests and diseases can determine the success or failure of the seaweed enterprise. Control or elimination of undesirable seaweeds, epiphytes, and disease is important to maintain the sustainability of the crop. The most common symptom of malaise which applied to the white segments that appear between branches usually in the more basal parts of the folly and caused by low salinity, temperature, and light intensity. A. Isis disease B. Die off C. Tip discoloration D. Tip darkening. The answer is A. Isis disease. Euchematoids, Capaphagus and Euchuma species, are tropical red algae commercially cultivated as raw material for production of carrageenans, particularly in Southeast Asia and the Western Indian Ocean region. Diseases and pests are major limiting factors in Euchematoid production, particularly a condition known as Isis disease IID. IID is characterized by bleaching of the phallus followed by the disintegration of affected tissues, leading to a loss of biomass and reduced carrageenan yield. IID has been associated with unfavorable changes in environmental conditions, particularly an increase in sea water temperature and a decrease in salinity and infection by opportunistic or pathogenic bacteria. 19. It is an echinoderm that grazes on the folly of Capaphagus A, Trypnosts B, Echinothrix C, Asterias D, Leptosynapta. The answer is A, Trypnosts. Sea urchin, Trypnosts, settle on the seaweed in planktonic form. As the sea urchin grows and becomes visible, it grazes on the phallus leaving a hollow at the central area. Grazing becomes more severe as the sea urchin grows bigger, leading to a great reduction in biomass production. At first, a synaptid is a net plankter and becomes visible as a soft pink object residing in between the tholi. As this snake-shaped animal grows bigger, it slips seaweed tips into its mouth resulting to the disintegration of the seaweed. 20. Birthplace of Mussel Farming in the Philippines A. Lady B. Honda Bay, Palawan C. Samboanga D. Bacoor City The answer is D. Bacoor City Bacoor City is the birthplace of mussel farming in the Philippines. Before the 1950s, mussel is not even considered food, but a pest in oyster farms. 
The discovery that muscle is edible gave birth to the idea it can also be cultured like an oyster.